wonder if it can hear us. Huh. All right, we are back at it again. About to jump on uh, framing the windows and the doors. Um, it's really hot. We're gonna see how much we can get done today, uh, starting with the front door. Okay, about to make some of the first cuts here to, uh, to get the door framed in. Man, this is uh, nerve-wracking. About to be some, some permanent stuff going on. Let's see how it goes. upright for the door to frame it in uh, the top of this stair is just sheet metal so I'm, I'm gonna just take off this first layer or take off kind of square out in the sheet metal to reveal this uh, this member here that I, I'd rather weld to than the sheet metal so that's what we're doing see it is sticking off the side a little bit but that's because uh, it needed to be flush with this when we put sheet metal back on it uh, I think with this little lip here oh, there we go. this lip here I may have to put uh, weld something here to the other side um, that way when the door is in the threshold doesn't bend it'll have something to uh, have some something under it all right so i think we're going to move on to uh, the driver's window we're going to put an rv window here uh, i got the pieces cut out
about to take this out. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure I've got it right. Got the frame roughed in, and we're well. I got a frame for a window roughed in, and I uh, just need to clean up the metal and get it welded in. And this is going to be our kitchen window, so it should fit between the uh, the countertop. And the upper counter uh, upper cabinets which it should 36 inch top or height and then whatever size upper cabinet we can fit around it is just how it's gonna work <laughs> okay I want to keep keep going tabs all around it they're making it hard to fit in there and I don't know if you're supposed to take them out or leave them in there but we're gonna leave them in there and pray that that's the way it's supposed to be okay these are the tabs I was talking about it'll focus on right here they move back they slide back and forth you can pop them out but uh, they're all the way around it all around it around it and it makes it a little wider than it normally would be like I said you can't take them out we're not going to we're just gonna hope that that's supposed to be in there um, and that's what we did and moving on than I thought they'd be. I don't have a lot of experience in uh, any kind of fabricating, any kind of metal fabricating. I've welded and stuff, but not like, not having to figure it all up myself. Uh, so it's a little ner I'm a little nervous as I'm going through this, hoping that it's going to work out. I'm trying to think a couple steps ahead on it, but I mean, who knows? <laughs> There's always something that you might be missing. Uh, but with that said, we're going to move on. I think I'm going to try to tackle the big window today. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, it's back over there. Try to uh, pull it out and see if we can get it framed in. And I just realized that I've had it on my white balance on tungsten the whole time. So everything seems blue. That's, that's probably one.
you got an emergency window, RV window that you're going to put in your bus or even your RV or whatever, don't open it. Um, the, there's like a J style hook on it um, that makes it extremely difficult to put back on. And we just spent probably an hour trying to, trying to get it to, to work. Uh, yeah, without breaking, it sounded like we we're going to break something many times. So, finally found a, a forum that somebody had an issue with it too. There's this, let me see. There is this, what they call a foam rod that slips down right in here. Well, it's in this window, and this is the window that, in here that uh, opens and closes. Well, I opened it, and I went too far with it, it fell out. Fortunately, I caught it. Um, but you take this, once you take it out, and then you just shove it back in with the credit card, and we're gonna super glue the end so it goes back in. So yeah, don't take out your emergency windows. <laughs> Either the angle iron or this piece was kind of both, so just trying to marry them up. This piece, I just welded a piece of angle iron up here. We cut it, as you saw, and we're putting it along this top line. This hole uh, that was here was a handicap lift when we're putting a big window in it. Uh, but I want to carry over this rivet line all the way down with it. So that's why we're adding that piece uh, to the top. That'll give us something to fasten the sheet metal to. Uh, then we added a support piece here, another way to secure some more sheet metal we're gonna go ahead and put another small piece of angle iron down the side of it which is probably overkill but we're gonna do it anyways and then I think that's it for this window minus paint Deanna's gonna paint Doing good. Yes, ma'am, we are. That's cool. Yeah. That is way cool. We're hoping it doesn't take forever, though. <laughs> I'm trying to get on it, but we'll see. Hopefully, by the end of the year, we'll have it finished. That'd be great. Yeah. Great. So That'd be... All right. Good morning. We are. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove our rear door. We want to. Uh, we're gonna put an emergency exit window on the top half. And on the bottom half, we have a teardrop door. It's about 32 inches tall. I think it's 20, 26 inches wide. And we're gonna put that there. Our bed's gonna be lofted about three foot, so that small door will give us access to under uh, the bed. And then the emergency exit window will allow us to obviously exit in an emergency situation. Biggest reason we decided to do this is uh, we're trying to make this thing as insulated as possible as energy efficient as, as we can I mean I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of things we miss and we don't do and <clears throat> I'm sure plenty of people will be able to point that out but in this case we're gonna change it out because the RV doors are uh, foam core doors that have a little bit more insulation so that's what we're gonna go with bottom half 
uh, small door, top half, uh, emergency exit window. So, so this top piece here is uh, we're going to remove that <clears throat> to give us more room on the top to uh, put the emergency exit window in. So, we're going to see if we can get that done. <laughs> center up this door also I'm gonna center up the window to find that you'd want to get the measurement all the way across which is 36 and an eighth and then uh, you subtract the size of the door or the window which mine is 25 and 5 eighths so uh, subtract 25 and 5 eighths from 36 and an eighth I think you're looking at about 10 and a half if I'm correct which I was looking it up a second ago and I think that's what it's going to be. Um, and then you would half that measurement. So we go down to ten and a half, half of that would be five and a quarter. And that's what you get on each side. So we're going to measure over five and a quarter here, mark a line. Five and a quarter here, mark a line. And we're going to double check our measurement and that should be pretty center, centered enough.
Alrighty, uh, we just finished framing in all the windows. I can give you a quick overview of which are which. So, let's see here. Oh yeah, the door. We got the door framed out, ready to go. This window is a hair window, H-E-H-R window. Uh, it's a little over five foot wide and almost three foot tall. It's gonna go over the uh, couch, It'll be over the couch. We got our little bitty 14 by 16, I think it is, somewhere in there. Uh, that's gonna be for the bathroom. Uh, we got our uh, bedroom, a bedroom window. We have the emergency exit window up top. And then we'll have the uh, small door, small teardrop door here at the bottom. And that'll give us access to under the bed. Not very many on this side. We have our four foot by 15 inch uh, kitchen window right here and then we're I'm putting in a driver's window as well just a regular uh, horizontal slide RV window that's it I think we're ready to move on here so shortly to putting the putting the skins back on it we will see you then